Hi guys and welcome to my channel, Jessie Tries It. Today I'm going to be giving you guys a 38 week, almost 39 week pregnancy update. Um, I believe the last one I did was 34 weeks, so that was quite a while ago. I'm sorry I haven't been keeping you guys as updated lately, but I'm here now. So, so today I'm probably going to be doing it just a little bit different. I thought I should paint my nails while I'm doing this video because I just don't have time. It would be really nice to kill two birds with one stone. So I'm just going to start off with my Revlon Gold. I like to just do like one accent finger. So changes at 38 weeks. I cannot believe that I'm this close to giving birth. It's insane. I would say that reality has hit me just because I'm the one carrying the baby, but at the same time, I still feel like in many ways, I'm still in denial. Um, I only recently, yesterday, finished packing my hospital bag, or, or just birthing bag, because I'm not going to the hospital. I'm gonna try to have a natural birth at a birthing center. Um, but yeah, it was, it was a reality check for me because I realized I hadn't made a list. I still need to sit down and do research and all that. Um, but I finally got through it and I was like, man, I actually need a lot of stuff. Am I ready? Am I prepared? And then I had to do all the laundry and wash all her clothes and her blankets and stuff. And it's, it's getting real, but it, it's like. I still feel like there's still so much more to do and this is just because it's my first one I think um, that's why I'm still partially in denial um, but I feel a lot better now I got a lot of stuff done made my list and now I can just check off everything um, her due date isn't here yet it'll be here next week but um, I don't think that she's coming early, to be honest, just because she's my first one. Typically your first one runs a little bit late, so no worries there. We're both very excited, um, just trying to get prepared for her. That's the biggest part right now. That's the, that's the stressful part. But all in all, she's a healthy baby, so we're very excited about that. And I'm gonna come in now with my Insta Dry nail polish. I haven't tried this one yet, but I love the color. It looks similar to one that I got at a salon on my toes, and yeah, I love that color. It's very neutral looking, but it's also like a lavender. Ooh, nice. Very nice. some changes that have begun to happen in the late third trimester is I finally got stretch marks guys I'm not thrilled about it <laughs> but you know it happens it's inevitable it's natural um, I don't have them all over my tummy like a spider web but I do have them on the very top of my tummy around where my belly button is I think that's also due to the fact that I gained a little too much weight in one week I think I gained about four pounds this week, which don't do that. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to die or anything like that. But you typically, especially towards the end, you, you really don't want to pack on the weight. So it's the holiday season. It's a little hard not to do that right now with all the sweets and goodies and soups and potatoes and all the carbs. Oh, so sad. I'm going to have to say goodbye to those this week but worth it. I do not need a bunch of extra weight to try to fight off when she's born, so I'm gonna do my best to hold it off. Ugh, I am not a professional at painting nails. It's literally like all over the place. Ugh. Um, so I have been experiencing some weird symptoms, like I had vertigo for the first time. And it's not the kind of vertigo where you get that horrible headache and you feel sick. I didn't have any of that. I just got up to brush my teeth one night and the world was spinning. And then the world didn't stop spinning until I had to literally sit down in the middle of the bathroom and my husband had to come and get me and put me to bed because 
the world was just spinning out of control and it wouldn't stop. So it hasn't happened since, just that one time. Um, thank goodness it happened while he was there. I don't know what I would have done had I been alone, but it turned out just fine. Um, I would say, so I got stretch marks, vertigo, um, what else? So some good news that I've gotten has been that I found out I am strep B negative, which is really nice. I won't have to have antibiotics while I'm giving birth, so it's kind of one last thing to have to worry about, so I'm very thankful for that. Um, it sounds like my iron levels are starting to climb up again. Um, I haven't gotten the official numbers, but when my midwife drew my blood last, I noticed that my blood was really dark and rich in color, which is a really good indication of, well, better iron. Um, so, and she hasn't said anything, so I'm assuming that means that I'm getting a lot better. So, that's some more good news. As far as like engagement, the baby has not really engaged her head in my pelvis yet. Um, it's probably gonna take a while. She's rotating, she tries, like she kind of goes up and then she rides low sometimes, but she keeps going back up again. So, she hasn't quite figured it out yet. Um, but no doubt she will eventually. So something that I have really struggled with in the third trimester and now I completely understand why my mom was telling me I was so lucky to be able to have the third trimester in December. I struggle with regulating my temperature like no other. I get so hot, like the house is freezing. I feel so bad for my husband because if it gets too warm, like I just overheat like so quickly and then it makes me swell, it makes me feel sick and just really groggy or sleepy and then it just kind of sets a bad tone for the rest of the day. So poor thing, he is such a trooper. He has to live in the cold. So really hoping that um, my temperature regulation goes back to normal shortly after birth, but I don't know that for sure. So hopefully he can hang in there just a little while longer. So something I started a little bit late in my pregnancy, not a little bit late, actually a lot of bit late, um, was physical therapy. I had my first appointment last week. It went really well and it was very helpful for me. Um, it's actually recommended that you go to a chiropractor or a physical therapist during your pregnancy. Just kind of get things assessed um, and help with pain. Like for me, it's been pelvic pain and a lot of lower back pain and most of all, left hip joint pain. And after getting assessed by a physical therapist, we found out that most of all my issues were coming from the joint. So, um, she was able to tape up my back just because I'm so far along in pregnancy. It doesn't make sense for me to spend a fortune and buy like, um, one of those pregnancy straps. So she just went ahead and taped me up and honestly, I felt a difference. I mean, it's not like extreme and it didn't make my problems go away, but it really felt like somebody was coming up behind me and giving me a nice lift, like some support in my back. So it feels good when I stand with the tape. She also taped up my feet because I have extremely flat feet. Always had them my whole life. I mean, pregnancy has just exacerbated that. So um, she taped those as well. And that really helped to maintain the arches. Unfortunately, the tape didn't last that long, like two days. And then that was it. So, so I'm excited. We've, I've packed the bags to get ready for her. I've washed all the clothes. And tomorrow I'm meeting with a pediatrician and I'm already pretty much sold on her, but I'm excited to meet her and see how it goes. Um, so yeah, it'll be good. That'll be a big part of preparation that I wanted to do is get her a good pediatrician that's nearby and really trusted. Somebody that I can call a lot on the phone. <laughs> so something that 
a lot of gals experience at my stage in pregnancy is contractions or practice contractions or Braxton Hicks contractions. Um, I don't think honestly I've experienced either of those yet. I thought I did because I did have a day or kind of a scare on Wednesday maybe three or four weeks ago but to be honest like it really wasn't contractions it felt more like intense period cramps if that makes any sense um, but I just laid down I rested I put a pillow between my knees for a little bit and they just went away and honestly once in a while I do get little period like period like cramps but I just those those aren't contractions and um, she really hasn't been progressing so I honestly don't know when she'll get here she'll probably come a week late but something that I survived this week was my midwife who went on vacation for an entire week she just got back yesterday, so I'm very happy. I'm very proud of my girl for hanging in there and not being born yet. <laughs> so I'm really happy that she's back. I actually got to see her today, and this is kind of funny and a little bit scary, but before I left for my appointment to go see my midwife, I thought, oh, it'd be so nice to put dinner in the crock pot and have it done when I get home. I love my crock pot. It has never failed me. I came home after my appointment and this is what I find. Ugh. That is not cool. Like, why? Why, why, why? And the chicken smelled so good and I can't eat any of it because it's just... It, it's full of shattered pieces of glass, so yeah, you try to be a good wife, you try to put food on the table, you try to do something easy and convenient, and the universe is against you. What can I say? <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna have to remake it again in the oven, but yeah, I'm gonna have to buy a new lid or this might be my excuse to just go ahead and switch over to an instant pot. I don't know. We'll see. Thank you guys so much for watching my video as always. I love keeping you guys updated on my pregnancy. Um, if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe so that you don't miss my future labor and delivery video, which will probably be coming soon. Um, or as well as cooking content or other things that I create on my channel. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and I will see you guys really soon. Have a fantastic day and Merry Christmas. Bye!